Hi there, it's Paint the Globe, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a mini cereal box or candy box or something for your child if they have that play kitchen or a doll. Um, it's pretty relatively small, but the things you're going to need to use are a sweetheart box that's this or a box that's just this small. It can be a little bit bigger. Um, I'm going to use some tape, I am going to use these scissors and a pencil. I'm also going to use this sheet of paper. So let's get started. As you can see I've gotten a hard surface here but the first thing I'm going to do is this sheet of paper is going to be used for making the label of your cereal box or you can always print off a cereal box label but I am gonna make my own so I'm just gonna set it down and trace it and I am gonna do the same for the back I have managed to draw the front and the back of my cereal box. I'm calling them Pony Pebbles. It's high in vitamins. And um, I drew a picture of the cereal. I mean, the, anything a cereal box might have. You, some people, you might want to spend more time on it and make it look nice. But I just drew stick figures. And I drew a maze on the back. Uh, it says, Help Pony Reach the End. And... I am going to take my handy dandy scissors here and I am going to cut out these uh, labels and I am going to put them on my box. I have cut out my labels and I am going to use this cute duct tape as a liner to go around my sweet tart box and I am then going to, I, I'm going to make the edges look a little bit nicer. Um, you can, if you have a box, you can make sides if you want to, but I kind of like the, like, the ingredients and stuff. I want to keep that there, so my Pony Pebbles are going to have pink sides, but I can color these in pink later, and I can, I think by the end I will make a nicer label to put on them, but, um, these fit very nicely, and I'll get back to you after I'm done. Okay, so I have created a brand new label because I thought the old one was just kind of crappy and I didn't want to make a cereal box that looked like that. But, um, I have Panda Pebbles and I think the maze looks a teensy bit nicer, like, compared to this one. Yeah, it's a lot nicer. Um, anyway, I drew a little cereal bowl in the middle of the maze and then there's Panda. And I tape around the edges, so I put, the tape is about yay thick, um, so I just put it, uh, halfway in, on the paper, and then halfway around the edge, and it seemed to hold up tightly. I also put a fresh piece of tape on the side. I know I wanted to, I really wanted to keep the ingredients and stuff on there, but it ended up not working out. I saw the top. Uh, I really like the Sweethearts because it opens and closes really nicely like an actual cereal box. And I also take the bottom and I am, I think I am going to color in this title kind of page. And then I'm also going to color in the back. But I really hope you enjoyed this really, really short tutorial on how to make a cute cereal box for a uh, doll. I originally made it for an American Girl doll. It's perfectly their size. It is just perfect. It's uh, I, I, I don't know. And they're also great for smaller kids that have those play kitchens. Um, I really got this idea when I, I was eating candy and I saw the sweet car box. I was like, that would make a great tiny cereal box. And 
I just happened to really, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video right here and now, and I, it, it turned out better than I expected it to. You can always print out a label if you like, I just don't want to, uh, take credit for, like, Cheerios or something, so. I really hope you enjoyed Paint the Globe out.